Welcome for today's lesson in juvenile delinquency. Now, for today, we are going to talk about the different theories of delinquency. Now, these theories, they explain why juveniles become delinquent. So, in order to fully understand, we must first know or identify which theories in first and what else and on um, the different perspectives of these theories now theories of delinquency early general theories on the causes of delinquency now magaling kayo dito kasi paulit-ulit lang ito demonological theory based on the belief of primitive people that every object and person is guided by a spirit. They do evil deeds because they are possessed by evil spirits. So, yung evil spirits daw yung ano, yung cause kung bakit nakakagawa ng evil deeds or evil acts. Next is classical theory. Based on the notion that people are rational and have free will, thus they have a choice. Consistent with the principle of utilitarianism, and hedonism. So, yung mga tao daw, according sa classical theory, they always have a choice. They are rational, they can think, and they have free will. So, they are not bound by anything. They are not forced. They act by their own free will. Now, according to the classicist, this is consistent with the principle of utilitarianism in which a person must weigh first. Kung ano yung um, mas mabigat, yung kanang pleasure ba na makakuha o yung pain. Kasi kung, kung mas mabigat yung pain, uh, for instance, malaki yung chance na mahuli siya or grabe yung penalty. Let's say, nag mag kapag magnakaw ka ng isang kilong bigas, buhay mong kapalit, ganun ba? So, pagtingin mo, ano, the pain outweighs the pleasure, then you are not going to do it. So, hedonism, so this is the principle that uh, happiness, happiness is the ultimate goal. So, everything is, you know, is for the pursuit of happiness. Okay, so moving on. For classicists, reasons why offenders should be punished. First, general deterrence. Strikes fear to the public, making them less likely to commit crimes. Specific deterrence. <laughs> strikes fear to the offender, making them less likely to commit crime again. So, this is for those who have committed crime. Incapacitation. Imprisoned for reason that they will be unable to commit crime. Retribution, based on the idea that criminals should be punished because they deserve it. They do not contribute to the society. So, ito yung four reasons kung bakit merong punishment for a uh, classicist. So, next is positive or Italian theory. Based on the principle of determinism, which means that every act has a cause that is waiting to be discovered in the natural world. Offenders should be treated or rehabilitated. Positivists blame delinquency on biological, psychological, and sociological factors. Now, this theory is opposite to the classical theory. Because in the classical theory, the act is blamed on the actor. Pero dito sa positive Italian, positive or Italian theory, the act, the cause of the act, of the illegal act, is caused by outside factors such as biological, psychological, and sociological factors, not the decision of the um, of the criminal or the actor. 
So based on the principle of determinism that every act has a cause that is waiting to be discovered in the natural world. So bali, kung ano yung reason, it has not been yet discovered but the reason is nasa paligid lang. Okay? Next is the critical theory. Critical theorists view delinquency as a byproduct of existing social arrangements. This theory blames delinquency on the imbalance of power within the human society. So, according according dito sa critical theory, it is a result of existing social ar arrangements. So, what what are these social arrangements? So, uh, there are plenty. And one, one striking cause is the is the differences of opportunity from um, hierarchy of classes. For instance, higher class, yung mga may power tsaka mayaman. Mi, mi, uh, middle class, yung may konting influence tsaka may konting yaman din. Yung lower class is wala talaga. Sin wala. So, there is conflict na. Diba? Kasi walang, may imbalance kasi, hindi equal yung power sa lahat. You may see it as, as it is normal, but it, it, it can cause a conflict. Kasi it, 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 si sir. Okay, next is biological theories. These theories claimed that criminality is a result of biological or genetic effect. Defect. So, my defect na. According to Lombroso, in his Lombrosian theory, it is based on the assumptions that criminals have many stigmata, which is distinctive physical features, such as symmetrical faces, enormous jaws, large or protruding ears, and receding chins. So, yung mga criminals daw na ay timailhan sa nawong palanggaan. Okay? Sa nawong, sa dalonggan, sa ilong, sa mata, sa baba. I don't know kung apil bang ngipon siya ha. Well, next assumption is criminals are atavistic beings who look differently and think differently. Having the mentality of primitive people, they are incapable of living in modern society. So, according to Lombroso, yung mga criminals ay iba yung itsura kesa sa normal na tao at saka iba yung pag-iisip nila. Kasi nga, they are primitive people. Hindi pa develop ang kanilang utak. Well, that is according to him. So, criminals are classified as epileptic, insane, and inborn. So, Cesar, Cesar Lombroso believed that there are born criminals. So, according to him, ano, yung tao daw is, ano, uh, pag, pag panganak pa lang, na malalaman na niya kung magiging kriminal ba o hindi. So, how did he came up with this conclusion? Just a short, ano, short history kung paano niya, paano siya nakakam up. So, he, he observed prisoners. So, nakita niya na kadalasan sa mga prisoners ay may mga ganitong um, features sa kanilang mukha. Kadalasan talaga. So, he then concluded that if you have this kind of face, then you are a criminal. Yeah, sino, si, sino naman ang hindi maka-ano, maka-conclude ng ganon? Eh, kadalasan naman sa mga na-observe niya ay ganon talaga. Merong mga stigmata. O astig ang mata. Okay, moving on. Next is General Inferiority Theory by Hutton. 
Crime, Ernest Hutton ata ito. Crime is the result of the impact of environment upon low-grade human organisms and that criminals were originally inferior people. Crimes exist because there are some inferior people who are responsible for them. Men with mediocre builds are people who tend to break the law without preference. Criminals should be permanently excelled to self-governing reservations, isolated from the society, sterilized to prevent further offspring. So according to Ernest Hutton, yung mga criminals are inferior beings. Sila yung hindi pa develop mentally, physically, and emotionally. So, hindi pa develop, kaya nga inferior. So, yung mga tao na, na hindi criminals are, we can supposedly say, superior. Kaya nga, and according to him, dapat separate at hindi na dapat padaghanon. <laughs> Sterilized to prevent for future offspring. Grabe naman ito si Ernest Ruta. No? Wala ta kabalo, basig nakasala aradi ay tinputlo na na yun, wala di na rin kamakaanak. Grabe ka naman. <laughs> Next is William Sheldon's theory. According to him, body type affects a person's entire personality or temperament. First, first um, type is the endomorphs. Uh, so, according to him, yung katawan ng tao is the basis kung uh, yung katawan ng tao can affect a person's personality and temperament. Yung temperament is yung uh, mura siya umangkot sa emotion. It is a what we call this is for example being aggressive being aggressive is a temperament pero being violent is ano na is a behavior na siya so parang itagaw na doon siya na emotion at ang temperament so first is endomorphs people who tend to be fat round and soft and to have short charms and legs Mesomorphs, people who have athletic and muscular physique, with active, assertive, and aggressive personality. Ectomorphs, people who are basically skinny, with lean and fragile bodies. So according to the usual term, these three, three types of um, body structure can affect a person's personality or temperament. Explain ko na sa sa'yo. Okay, for instance, sa liso sa kaisa mo, ito yung mga yung mga yung mga matataba. And according to the team, these people tend to become what? Rapists. Bakit? Bakit? Kasi kung sila ang mga yung mga yung mga yung mga yung mga Kasi matabang sa bahay sila. Okay? Okay? Hindi ito naman sa mga 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 sports. No offense sa mga 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 So, if you are doing something, you can hit him. Okay, okay. So, mga mga sports, ito yung mga 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 macho. Macho. They high hand and seems to commit commit physical injuries. Pasok, pasok.
So, kapag may extra way yan, parang extra aggressive na rin yung tao. And according to this theory, it is the cause of the abnormal genetic structure of the person that makes him prone to doing crime and being a detainment. Okay? So, balik tayo. One, two, three, four. So, sa biological theory, sa apat ito. Yung brosyan, yung inborn criminals, yung mukha, general inferiority, hindi pa masyadong develop yung tao, yung pagiging inferior niya, uh, inferior when it comes to development, uh, is the cause kung bakit naraga nakakagawa siya ng crime and kay William Sheldon is yung body structure uh, affects a person's personality or temperament kaya nakakagawa siya ng crime or rather to be specific this defines what crime you are prone to if you have this body structure okay it does not mean Kasi no choice tayo eh. Tayong lahat under dito. So, what is it telling us? We all are criminals? No. It, this theory only tells what crimes you are prone to commit. If you are fat, you are prone to commit. Eh, nakakita na ba yan ko may big love ha? Itong tambok, naniwang eh, nagwapo si Samil B. Okay, last theory is, in biological theories, is the genetic theory. In which the cause of the you know, criminal behavior is the genetic structure, abnormal genetic structure. Okay, so next is psychological theories. Delinquency is a result of internal underlying disturbances. And these disper disturbances develop in childhood and tend to become permanent features of the individual character. Since the individual has problems, he or she must be the focus of attention if the problem is to be solved. So, eto yung cause pala ng delinquency is yung panloob. Now, this is, these are psychological theories. Now, so this involves a person's psyche or a person's mind. Okay? So yung problema, yung cause ng delinquency is yung mind. Okay, moving on. Psychoanalytic theory. By Simon Freud. And he believed 
that people likely experience conflict when abnormalities occur in the person's psyche. Now, according to him, there are three parts. Three parts. Three parts of what, sir? Three parts of a human mind, a human psyche. And these are id, ego, and superego. Ego pala yan. Ego. Ego na dai. Now, first, id, it is the unconscious portion of personality dominated by drive for pleasure and by inborn sexual and aggressive impulses. So, this is the pleasure principle. Now, when can we have this id? It starts when we are born. So, yung actions natin, though we, we do not we are not conscious of these actions. We just go with whatever we, whatever that gives us pleasure. For instance, we want to drink. We want to touch shiny things. So that is the koan. That is brought brought to by uh, brought uh, brought by the id. Because Eid only focuses on what gives us pleasure. Now, ego is the rational part of the personality. It grows from the Eid. It represents problem-solving dimensions of personality. So, ego, ito yung rational principle. Ito yung, ano, for instance, pag hindi niya kayang punin, o hindi niya uh, makamit kung ano yung nakakabigay sa kanya ng pleasure, then, kung yung ego ang magsasabi na, oops, wait ka muna. Ito yung gagawin natin para makuha makuha yung gusto mo. Okay? For instance, Nasa meeting ka. Gutom ka na. You want to eat. You want to have a snack. Pero yung dinidiscuss sa meeting is very important. Now, are you going to go outside? Kasi gusto ng chan mo? Gusto mo na mag-snack? Or are you going to stay for, let's say, five minutes more? So, this is the part of the mind that gives rational decision. Okay? Yeah. Okay, wait ka muna, Id, na konti na to. Uh, saglit lang to pala. Hapit na ni Mahuman. Then, kaon na din ta. Okay? Now, super ego. It grows out of ego. It represents the moral code, norms, and values the individual has acquired. Hence, it is responsible for feelings of guilt, and shame. Now, dito na naman sa superego, ito yung um, conscience principle. So, let's say, may gusto si id. Sabi ni id na, ah, chicks by all, ligawan mo na yan. Halikan mo, halikan mo. Uh, sabihin naman yung superego, wag, bawal yan. Baka, ano, baka masampal tayo, baka makulong tayo. Mm -mm. That is against yung pag ano, uh, hindi makulong kasi kulong is sa ano yan, sa ego. Uh, baka, uh, that is, what we call this, pambabastos. She is a woman. She must be respected. So, eto si ego, how am I going to, ano, siya ang parang si barangay kap na mabigay yung gusto ni id tsaka mabigay yung gusto ni super ego so how to please both of them so liligawan ko siya okay that is just an example a vague a very vague example so this is a very wide topic so konti lang muna okay because i don't want to focus on this uh, too much Basta, ano lang, yung cost ng, ano, cost ng 
criminal behavior ng isang tao dito sa psychoanalytic theory is the imbalance of a person's psyche. Kasi kapag yung id overpowers ego and superego, ano, a person will just go for what he thinks that pleases him. Let's say, kapag ah, kapag may gusto siyang babae, wala lang. Lalapitan niya, halikan niya agad. Ganon. Kapag gusto niya ng pera, wala, magugawa lang siya ng pera. Parang ganon ba? He is not afraid to do anything kasi yung after ng mind niya is what only pleases him. Yan kung na-overpower ng id ang ego at saka superego. Now, kung superego na naman, yung mag-overpower, so, wala nang, walang, walang say si id at saka si ego, so, ano na lang, puro na lang pag-follow ng mga, ng morals, values, norms, ganun-ganun, he is not fulfilling his pleasures. So, what now? Meron siyang, ano, merong drawback din yan, which can also lead to, ano, criminal behavior. Now, dito na naman sa ego, kapag it outweighs id and superego, ano, parang strict ka na lang, palagi ka na lang follow the rules, and this can also lead to criminal behavior. So, dapat dito, balance talaga. Balance talaga. Okay? You have sometimes to give in with your aid, but without breaking the law and uh, giving you feelings of guilt. Okay, next is four elements in fruits theory. Human nature is inherently antisocial. Every child possesses a set of primitive antisocial instincts that fruit called the id. Good behavior comes through effective socialization. Through socialization, the child learns internal control. The lifelong features of the human personality originate in, the, in early childhood. By age 5, all the essential features of the child's adult personality have been developed. Delinquent behavior is the result of a defective superego. Actually, not just a defective superego, but it's about the balance. Okay? If the parts of the human psyche coexist in a unified and harmonious way, the person is mentally healthy. When the parts come into conflict, the person is maladjusted, and there is a high probability that he will commit delinquent acts. So, kung dili siya balance. Okay. So, moving on. Low IQ theory. So, people with low intelligence are easily led into law-breaking activities by the wiles of more clever people. So, nagamit sila. People with low intelligence are unable to realize that committing offenses in a certain way often leads to getting caught and eventual punishment. So, low IQ. Mga, mga bobo, according to Attorney Gadon. So, these are those people na mataling maloko sa mga, ng mga matatalino. So, next, uh, psychological theory is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Theory, ADHD. So, juvenile delinquency is caused by immaturity and hyperactivity. <coughs> Great scholars usually experience attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, which is characterized by short attention span, daydreaming, sluggish, sluggish is, I think, um, similar to tapulan, or hinaglihok, preoccupation, anang na ikano na isulod ang huna-huna impulsiveness ito 
So having ADHD does not make you a criminal, but prone to doing criminal acts because of impulsiveness. So short attention span, daydreaming, sluggishness, preoccupation. These are just, I know, parang symptoms, parang characteristics of a person having ADHD. But impulsiveness is a characteristic that can cause criminal behavior. Impulsive. Let's say, pag, na, pag meron siyang maisip, gagawin niya agad without thinking of the consequences. He acts on impulse. Okay? So, that psychological disorder ADHD is the cause. Next is frustration, aggression, ag aggression theory. Hmm? Bakit nagiging psychological ito? Ah, okay. This theory claims that people who are frustrated will act aggressively and people who engage in aggression are frustrated first. Frustration is a behavior directed at anticipated goals or expectations. It develops when a person's person experiences the blocking of some goal. It involves hopes and unfulfilled expectations. So let's say Mm, ah, for example, you are a student, a fresh graduate student. Sana all. Then you took the board exam. You gave it your best. But for some reason, for an unknown reason, unknown to you, no reason, kung bakit hindi ka makapasa. Now, this, this frustration comes, uh, is a feeling, is an emotion uh, deriving from unable to get what you want. Sample, may gusto ka. And kapag hindi mo makuha yung gusto mo, kahit ginawa mo na ang lahat, then you will become frustrated. And that feeling of frustration can lead to aggression. And if you are now aggressive because of your frustration, then you, there is a huge tendency that you can, you will, you will commit a criminal act. I'm not saying that you are going to commit rape or Ah, yes, 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 yes. That's why it's not my ghost of my body. In one moment, in the company of Kuha, Sabina Ops, I need more time, I need more space. That was the Lama Lama Lama, the boyfriend of Shans. So, could be nothing. I know, I know. But the mission of the sky is not known. It's not in the room. It's not in the room. Ito sa pasapas, theorize o kahit siya na gawa niya mo yun. Because theory is used to explain the person's action, action. Explain kasi nga na rin naman. Now, back to back to all tayo sa iyo sa iyo magkakasa-kasa. So, ano na ano na ano na gawin? Many things. Pwede nga rin mag-commit ng library. Mabayaran na rin. Or, or, ano, ano. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
intervention, decrease activity during theory of LDAD, HDHD, disorder ito, which is a cause niya is yung magiging deposit ng mga sabata. Then, 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 low IO theory, yung kaon na promit ng crime, crime. Kasi so, low ang kanyang IQ and ano, naloko lang siya sa so, mga mas matatali, no? So, so, so ito, analytic theory, ang cost o bakit nag-commit ng crime is the imbalance of, of, ano, of the parts of a human psyche or, or a human mind. So, psychoanalytic, so IQ theory, ADHD, frustration, aggression theory. So, dito na naman tayo sa social class theories. Na dito tayo magaling na criminology. Para din tayong mga sociologist. Now, so, uh, sa title pa lang, social class, it involves different classes. So, meron ng hierarchy. Usually, higher class, middle class, tsaka lower class. Now, first theory is a social disorganization theory. These organized, these organized areas cannot exert social control over acting out youth. These areas can be identified by their relatively high level of change, fear, instability, incivility, poverty, and deterioration, and these factors have direct influence on the area's delinquency rate. So, yung cause ng ano ng delinquency is yung disorganization sa isang area yung wala ng social control now what are these social controls so eto yung mga things that can that can influence the behavior of a person so example sir ano 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 yon Okay, una, values. Kung ano yung importante sa isang tao at sa isang community. Norms. What is considered normal? Kung ano yung mga accepted behavior. Moral standards. O kung ano yung mga good behavior sa isang society. So, kapag wala iyan, so, ano na, hindi na makontrol yung mga youth, yung mga bata noon. And kasagaran, makita niya siya sa mga areas nga unstable, pobre, hugaw, gobot. Ano yung nana ba? So, ano? And this usually is present sa lower class. Okay? So, yung pagiging, ano, dilinkwente ng isang bata, is caused by the area, the community that is disorganized. So, walang, walang, walang fault yung bata dito. Okay? Next theory is the anomie theory. Anomie is normlessness produced by rapidly shifting moral values. This occurs when personal goals cannot be achieved using available means. Now, normlessness produced by rapidly shifting moral values. So, let's say merong moral values yung isang tao. Ano yun? Um, for example, he values education. A person values, what we call this? Honesty. If a person cannot reach his goal, for instance, he is a father, he is a provider. Tapos he has these values that he values education, he values honesty, and because of the inability to get, uh, to achieve his goals, which is to be a provider, he now then shifts so, from being honest into dishonest. Wala na. Wala na. Finish na. 
So, instead of valuing honesty and education, parang ano na, parang his means to provide for his family is ano na, iba na, parang opposite na talaga. And this is the state of normlessness. This occurs when personal goals cannot be achieved using available means. Now, this is because of the ano lang, sa social class. Okay? Now, medyo similar kasi ito sa strain. Kaso lang yung, yung cost ng criminal act is yung pag-shift ng kanyang moral values. While sa strain, yung cost ng illegal act criminal act is the strain itself yung frustration yung pressure strain theory contends that certain classes are denied legitimate access to culturally determined goals and opportunities and the resulting frustration results in legitimate activities or rejection of the society's goal sources of strain include Caused by the failure to achieve positively valued goals. Caused by the disjunction of expectations and achievements. Removal of positively valued stimuli from the individual. Presentation of negative stimuli. So, ito yung strain theory. Yung cause is that uh, certain classes such as especially lower class, if they are not given the chance, right, na, I you know, even with these values, with these morals, if they, if they are denied of these chances, then it will give them frustration. Para na rin, ano, yung frustration, aggression. But, dun sa frustration, aggression, yung frustration ang reason kung bakit nagiging aggressive yung tao, which then will uh, be prone to being a criminal. Well, dito na naman sa string theory, yung frustration is caused by the denial of um, opportunity sa isang certain class. Okay? Denial sa opportunity na makamit. Denial, not opportunity, access talaga. Denial of access. Let's say, okay, for example, yung nasa lower class, they want to, they want to have a better life. But in the society they, they are living, in order to have a better life, first, they need money. Money for what? For the business, education, in order to apply sila. And where can they get money when they don't have money in the first place? So it gives them frustration. Now that is strain. Now if they are presented with a negative stimulus, nah, if they are given an idea na ganito, na why not sell drugs? Then makapera ka, tsaka ka mag ano, balik loob sa magandang, na wala na, finish na. <laughs> Tuterte na takaron. So ganun yun. Pero dito na naman sa ano me, yung cause is yung pag-shift ng kanyang values. From positive to negative. Yan yung cause. Dito na naman is yung frustration na kanyang na-feel. Dahil sa for being belonging to a class that which is denied uh, ano ito? legitimate access. Okay, next is Differential Opportunity Theory. Now, parang similar din. But, 
different. In this theory, delinquent subcultures flourish in the lower classes and take particular forms so that the means for illegitimate success are no more equally distributed than the means for legitimate success. Ah. This explains that in the lower classes, there are groups that formed. There are subcultures. What are examples of the subcultures? Gangs, groups, criminal groups. So these are formed in order for them to achieve their goals, their own goals. Okay? So, kadalasan nabubuo, nabubuo ito, ano lang, just to... Kasi because they are denied access. They are not given. They do not have the chance to achieve their goals in a legitimate way. Okay? So, differential opportunity theory. Because of the differences of opportunity. So, the type of criminal subcultures depend on the area in which they develop. The varying form of delinquent subcultures dependent, depend upon the degree of integration that was present in the community. So, magdedepende yung form ng ano, yung subculture. So, what forms are we talking about? Let's say, kung, kung kailangan talaga, yeah, let's say, yung community is very um, cooperative with the police. So, yung grupo, it could be that their their acts are very discreet. Ganun. Or kung weak talaga yung, ano, yung government, yung local government, katulad ng Japan sa Yakuza. So, as of now, Yakuza are, are accepted. Accepted na sila sa society and they are respected by the government na. So, wala na, finish na. Isa ito, subculture. May sariling culture din. So, since they cannot ano, achieve their goals if they are going to follow the the means of the government kung ano yung legitimate means then they cannot achieve it but because of the creation and being a part of the subculture group then they are now then this kwan, yung means, although illegitimate, they can now achieve it. Yeah, libo kay si Sarno. Basta, ano yan lang, ang sa pag-appel nila sa grupo, makuha na nila ilang gusto. Bahalag illegal. So, mauna yung reason kung ano naghimo na sila niya ng delinquent subculture. Okay, because, uh, different kasi yung opportunities dito okay and the difference of opportunities is caused by kanang, the difference of classes dili, dili first class, second class ha? but ha, upper class middle class, lower class okay next theory is the class conflict theory Dito ata sumikat si ano, Karl Marx. is based upon the view that the fundamental causes of crime are the social and economic forces operating within the society. For instance, the criminal justice system and criminal law are thought to be operating in behalf of rich and powerful social elites with resulting policies aimed at controlling the poor. So, dito sa class conflict theory, uh, yung conflict is caused by the unequal sharing of power. Kasi mas may influence yung nasa upper class sa paggawa 
na mga social controls such as laws and criminal justice system, sila yung may mas control. So, it is thought to be na, ano, na it is in favor of them. Now, dito na naman sa lower class, they want an equal share of that power. So, kung merong batas that gives, ano, much more importance to the upper class, then that would create a serious conflict. Okay? So, dito tayo sa, ano, sa present. Ano yung ano yung law na example that serves the rich but not the poor? Of course, bail. Hindi lahat ng tao can afford to pay a bail. Diba? Let's say mag-uuma na preso kay na pasangilan basta gulay sala. So, dili siya makapiyansa. Pero, bisag ma-proven siya sa court na wala siya sala, na, na, nakaagin na siya o katila o presuhan. Pero kung dato, bisag sadan, sadan ba o dili, makapiyansa man. So, still, that, that, ano, that part of the criminal justice system still serves, ano, those who have the ability to pay those to have finances to have money okay so that is just an example pero hindi naman masyadong ano kasi meron naman tayo mga other other forms of bail but example lang yan okay so next is the differential oppression theory states that serious juvenile delinquency is a product of the oppression of children by adults, particularly within the context of family. Claro na. Maltreatment of children has been found to be highly correlated with both serious and moderate delinquency as well as other behavior problems. So, dito, differential oppression theory, ano, ang yung pagiging ano, delinquent ng isang bata is based sa pag, ano how how they were treated by their by their parents or guardians okay so ah so balik tayo differential opp- oppression theory they were oppressed by their guardians uh, class conflict theory uh, conflict of different classes na yung yung social controls yung law yung process is uh, serves the rich only and that the poor wants a share of the power. Uh, differential opportunity theory. Uh, delinquent subcultures were being formed, especially the lower classes, because they uh, have different opportunities. Ah, oh, they have different opportunities in achieving their ano, their goals. Uh, next is strain theory. Yung strain is the cause kung bakit ano kung bakit naka nakakagawa ng ano criminal act ng isang tao. Dito yung pag-shift ng kanyang moral values ang reason kung bakit nakakagawa siya ng criminal act, uh, social disorganization theory, yung pagbilong sa isang tao, sa isang disorganized society, is the reason kung bakit nakakagawa siya ng criminal act. Okay? So, ah, namiya pa mga pahulay, eh, pero I think konti na lang ito. Mm-hmm. konti na lang ito okay, interpersonal theories first is the differential association theory interpersonal theories meaning um, 
it involves someone else you and someone um relationship okay so different association differential association association theory so different association you associate yourself with different beings so criminal behavior is learned primarily within the interpersonal groups and that youth will become delinquent if definitions they have learned favorable to violating the law exceed definitions favorable to obeying the law within the group so dito pala sa differential association dito pala sa differential association you will learn um, criminal acts, criminal behavior because you are associated with other people in a criminal group. You are associated with a criminal group in a criminal group pala. So, nagiging ano? Nagiging ano lang? Basically, Nagiging criminal yung isang tao kasi nakipag-associate siya. And he learns these things. He get to learn kung ano yung mga criminal acts na ginagawa ng isang grupo na kung saan kasali siya. Okay? So, social learning theory. Behavior is modeled through observation. Either directly through intimate contact with others or indirectly through media. So, pag-observe. Social learning. Interactions that are regarded are, copy, are copied, whereas those that are punished are avoided. So, namimili din siya kung ano yung uh, kinakapi niya or ginagaya niya. So, suggest the children who grow up in a home where violence is a way of life may learn to believe that such behavior is acceptable and rewarding. So, whatever a person, a child, observes in his surroundings, and kung nakikita niya na hindi yun napapanish, then he may internalize it. He may also adapt it and apply it. So, kung nakikita niya sa kanyang mga silingan na, ah, nabalik yung drugs, ang sigisugal, and wala sila pang dakpa, and katusikuan, dako kay dao, kana, dato ay kalit, dako kay balay, dako kay kotse, ana-ana. So, iku, pwede ito niya i-copy. Dito sa differential association, nakipaghalubilo yung isang tao kaya nakalearn siya sa mga criminal behaviors while dito sa social learning hindi na kailangan maki makihalubilo observation lang okay eto lang dalawa ito dito sa interpersonal theories okay differential association makihalubilo social learning hindi na din makihalubilo kundi mag-observe na lang Situational theories. First is the drift theory. I think, I think isa lang ito. O isa lang. Drift theory or the neutralization theory. A special case within the learning approaches is Sykes and Matz's thesis of techniques of neutralization. The focus here is on the learned justifications of the criminal for his already committed offense. Debaters therefore look for loopholes and explanations to justify or neutralize their own divine action. Sykes and Matza distinguish between five types. So dito pala siya, ito palang drift theory is yung pagdrift kung ano yung katotohanan, yung paglikay niya. Parang, parang ano rin, I wonder if you know how we live in Tokyo, yung Tokyo Drift, yung parang pag-slide. Hmm. A person, a criminal who committed an offense will parang mag-drift, will slide from the truth. 
Okay? And it is done through five ways. First, denial of responsibility. The perpetrator perceives himself as a victim of unfavorable social conditions. Not he himself, but others are responsible for his actions. So, sa denial of responsibility, he will deny that he is responsible. Okay? He, ever, he is responsible of the crime that he committed. Okay? Balikan lang natin yan, okay? Denial of injury. Now, the offender trivializes or plays down his actions, does not recognize it as immoral. So, dito na naman sa ano, sa denial of injury, he is going to den deny that there is an injury. So, ano, let's say, for example, yung isang bata, he is driving a motorcycle, tapos nahuli siya, ang kanyang, uh, ng isang police. So, uh, sasabihin niya, Sir, wala may nasakitan sa ako ang gibuhat, sir. Wala mang kinabanggaan. Na, ayun ako dakpa, sir. Parang ganun. He is going to deny that, ano, there's an injury. Okay, next is denial of victim. The offender believes that the victim deserved the crime committed against him because of ethnic background or sexual orientation. Okay, for instance, for instance, um, ano kaya, no? Ah, yung babae, na-rape, na-rape niya. O sasabihin niya, Sir, yamang salasar nga, ang kasuot-suot siya, o pook. So, parang ganun. Tsaka yung ng trending, eh, kung hindi lang niya, kung nasarado lang niya yung gate niya, yung pintuan niya, eh, hindi sana kami makapasok. So, kasalanan niya. Parang ganun. Denial of victim. Now, dito na naman, balik tayo sa denial of responsibility. Uh, he will deny that he is responsible for the act. Let's say, for example, na huli siya na umiinom, nakakating classes, then he will say na, O di, may na po sa law. Wala mong guto. Di pasagdan ng guto sa kainahan, sa pamahan. Wala. Patay na mong guto po ang inuman niya. O, dala na po sa barkada. No, no. Okay, okay. Because, ano, ano, if, 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 if you give, give them the chance, the chance, the chance, the chance, the chance to call, call this, to make this as uh, as their parang loophole nila na hindi sila ma mapanish then it will later on be ano kanang mas mugahi pa sila na naunsa namin ni oy kapoy na ko well, anyway, tuloy pa rin. Okay. Ah, I need coffee. Okay, next is condemnation of the condemners. The perpetrator. Okay pa mo? Don't worry, hapit na ta. Hapit na ta, gamay na lang. I think two slides na lang. So, next is condemnation of the condemners. The perpetrator accuses the police and other state controls of being corrupt. Flawed, selfish, and unjust. Okay. Ang pinaka sa yung example ani is ka ng example, mahatagan ka o gamay ng grado. Ano? Then, ang imong irason, ah, wag yun, kuan mang yun to si sir, anana, si ma'am, gamay yun siya mahatag o grado, or wala, wag yun siya ayaw matudlo. Ayun mo na na, that is one, ano, parang, these are all defense mechanisms kasi. Okay? Next is appeal to higher loyalties. 
the offender claims to have acted in the interest of others or on the basis of orders or peer pressure but not according to his own will. So, bali, parang napugos din siya. Ana, ayon sa kanyang koan, pagiging loyal. Let's say yung pagrarali. Na, even though mali na yung mag-take up arms ka, you will then, ano, reason out that this is for my country, for my fellow men. Na, even though you have already taken arms up na. Okay? So, moving on, social reaction theories. Labeling theory. The labeling theory suggests that people obtain labels from how others view their tendencies or behaviors. Each individual is aware of how they are judged by others because he or she has attempted many different roles and functions in social interactions and has been able to gauge the reactions of those present. So, dito sa labeling theory, because of your tendencies, because of the signs that of how you are going to be sa ano, in the future, you are being labeled. And because of these labels, nagiging parang nade-develop. Tapos la naman kita wag ta og kawatan. Di makawatan na lang ta. Na posla naman nga kita wag tag bayot. Magbayot na lang. Now labeling someone is you know, It's quite hurting. Okay? So I hope ano Nang that you, you will not label someone. Kasi this can, ano, this can um, direct a person to, to criminal acts. Yung masisira na yung buhay niya. Okay, next is control theories. First is social control theory. Social control theory proposes that people's relationship, commitments, values, norms, and beliefs encourage them not to break the law. Thus, if moral codes are internalized and individuals are tied into and have a stake in their wider community, they will voluntarily limit their propensity to commit deviant acts. So, yung mga, yung mga social controls pala, is the reason kung bakit uh, we do not commit. It becomes our, what we call, parang guardian angel. Parang, parang guide sa atin na hindi, that can, ano, that can push us away from uh, criminal acts. And what are the social controls? So, relationship with people, with the family, yung commitment, values, norms, and beliefs. At morals, meron pa morals. Um, a religion is, is a social control din yung religion. Um, what else? Uh, values, Customs, tradition, marami pa. Okay? So, kung weak yung social control, alienated yung isang bata, malayo yung isang bata sa, ano, sa kanyang society o sa kanyang community, then there is a chance that that, that, person will I know will commit an act kasi kung ano yung mga values nila are not values of others kung ano yung importante sa kanya are not important of other, for others so meron ng clash sa values meron ng clash sa morals clash sa commitment sa relationship why why would he value the his relationship with others, di ba? 
they mean nothing to him. So this social control theory does not explain why people commit crime, but explain why people do not commit crime. Okay. Self-derogation theory predicts that low self-esteem motivates you to try out delinquent activities that are aimed at restoring self-esteem. So, dito pala, it is caused, yung naglobat na, timing yun. Yung mga criminal acts na ginagawa ng isang bata is to, ano, to restore the self-esteem, to make the... The juvenile feel good about himself. Okay? Pero yung mga acts is our criminal acts. Let's say, for instance, um, doon sa bahay, pinapakalitan siya, kanunan siya kulatahon, he feels so um, powerless. Then, if he is going to bully someone, we eat it makes him feel that he has power. So, that act of bullying is a delinquent act na. So, interactional theory states that weakening of a child's social bond is the fundamental case of delinquency. Again, it talks about that having interaction, having a strong relationship with a child makes a child not commit a delinquent act or a criminal act. So, the weakening of the social bond, either with family, with friends, with peers, with the society, basta kung may weakening sa doon na area, it, ano, it gives a chance of that kid to to consider committing an act a criminal act now self control theory states that it is the absence of self control rather than the presence of some forces of factors such as poverty anomaly opportunities for deviance delinquent peers exposure to definitions favorable to deviance that leads to deviance. It rejects the notions that deviance is learned, that deviance simply results from the individual's inability to effectively control his or her impulses. So, claro. Claro ka ayo. Self-control theory. Na kung meron lang control yung tao, bahalag no matter what exposure sa deviant sa uh, any any kind of criminal act kapag meron pag strong yung kanyang self control he will not ano commit or he will not adapt or copy those acts or commit those acts okay so i think that's it that's it so um i'm going to what this to create a midterm exam for you guys next week. So, medyo nahuli lang talaga ako sa paggawa ng mga videos kasi I have been entertaining other things also and it's sad na my classes are affected. But anyway, um, Time management should be, ano, should be top priority. So, thank you everyone. So, I hope you, you have learned uh, something from this, from today's lesson. And I hope you will, you will ask some questions regarding this. So, overall, ito yung mga theories. So, today's lesson in person, kung in person pa ni, this is worth mga three meetings ata. 
ano lang, ako lang i- yung sort of summarize na lang. And the definitions of this ano is simplified and put into general. Okay, so I think that's it. So, good luck. Thank you.